you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, letting you know that you are the biblical Israelites that the Bible speaks of. But of course we've been taken away from our heritage, but we got it back in these last days. So if anybody got questions, please come up and ask your questions because we're out here to answer questions. So with that, we're going to get into this thing. So read what you got. Book of Jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 25. Read out. Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt, unto this day I have even sent unto you all my servants the prophets. Who are we? The servants the prophets. Who are we? The servants of prophets. The servants of prophets. I here warning our people again of the oncoming the danger that our people is facing. Right? We got to care in the world because we don't know that we in danger. Why? Because our people do not pay attention. But that's what the servants of prophets come out to warn you of the danger before America gets destroyed. And America will be getting destroyed in our generation. Right. Go ahead and read on up. The servants, the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them, yet they hearken not unto me. But you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you don't hearken unto God's words. You don't hearken unto your creative words. Go ahead and read. They hearken not unto me, nor incline their ear, but harden their neck. What is our people? But harden their, their neck. neck. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you harden your necks when it comes to the Bible. Right? You heart in your necks when it comes to the Most High God. Your own God who prayed to heaven and earth. But go ahead and read. They heart in their neck. They did worse than their fathers. They did what? They, they did, did worse than their fathers. fathers. We did. We're doing worse than our fathers. But what was our fathers doing? Right? Back in the ancient Egypt. We were going up all into serving all these different idols. Going into idolatry. Serving other gods. Serving these different religions. Right? Sinning before our God, man on man, woman on woman, right? Lying and deceiving and manipulating people, right? All manner of filthiness is going on in the same manner of filthiness is going on today. But go ahead and read. Verse 27. Therefore, thou shalt speak all these words unto them. And that's what we ought to do, speak God's words unto you. Go ahead. But they will not hearken to thee. But they ain't, our people don't like to listen to the Bible. They don't like to listen to the Lord. And this Bible is written of him, of the Lord. We read out of the Bible before because it's the words that come from our Lord. But the Lord said, our people hearken not unto him. Go ahead and read. Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. And we are here fishing week in and week out. But a lot of our people don't answer to us. But we understand we are here for the sheep. We're not out here for everybody. It's all without one sheep that's going to come up. That's right. And on good days, we have multiple sheep that come up. But go ahead and read. But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord, their God. And that's why two-thirds of our people is going to be destroyed because you do not hearken unto the words of the Lord. We are here week in and week out to give you warning, to blow that trumpet, to sound the alarm, to tell you that America is going to be destroyed. But you stay in the same folly, right? Don't change at all, right? Don't want change, but only want to stay in darkness. Go ahead and read up. Nor receive a correction. They do what? Nor receive a correction. Our people hate to be corrected, right? Our people love to stay in their same sins. Go ahead and read up. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. Hey, come in the word, brother. You believe in God, King? Come on, brother. You believe in God? Let me read the scripture. Come on, brother. You know, okay, all right, but you know this place about to get destroyed our generation, right? Just don't think that at the end of the year everything will be all good, brother. We gotta turn to our God while we got chance, alright? I need to give you this flower. Take this flower, brother. It's a YouTube channel, alright? Check out our YouTube channel and come back and save your soul, King. Alright, brother. Shout out one, King. Shout out one. I'm crazy to see you. How about shooting y'all with Shot Rock and Thumb, man? That's what we were just saying, man. We always got those one, two, or sheep. Two or three sheep that'll come up and got ears for the word, the Lord. You maybe have to go to work, yes. But that sheep is going to, you know, here's here just one scripture, man. Uh. Right? We get off the floor so they can check out the YouTube channel. Lord willing, our brother, take out that YouTube channel and find out his heritage and come back to it. That's in right. these last days. Go ahead right. and read what you got, huh? Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 25. Bring it out. Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt unto this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them. Yet they hearken not unto me. There are people that are hearken unto the words of the Lord. Go ahead and give me another book of Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 2. Ezekiel 2 verse 2. Hey, come here the word, brother. Because who out here believe in God? Who out here truly believe in the word of the Lord? 
right in these last right. days, this last generation that we walking in. And the Lord told us that sin shall increase. I think in the last days, this last generation, sin shall abound. Many, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's what you're saying, right? Our people wax so cold to the point where they don't even want to hear the words of the Lord. They don't want to hear nothing good. Hey, but when it comes to evil, their ears is open. Go ahead and read. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 2. Bring it out. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. He said that's out here to you blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. You make up for the house of the 12 tribes of the house of Israel. Go ahead and read. To a rebellious nation. And we know our people are rebellious. That's why they don't take heed to the Lord. That's why they go to church because church can go ahead and give them that opportunity to continue sinning. Why they continue sinning? Because there's no correction in the church. Hey. But when you come upon across us, we're going to correct you all the time. And we know our people are stiff that we hate to be corrected. Right. Go ahead and read. To a rebellious nation that hate, that have rebelled against me. And most of you black and special Native Americans rebelled against the Lord our God and you're still rebelling against this thing. How you doing, sister? You believe in, you believe in God? You believe in the Bible? Go ahead and read, huh? Rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. Even unto when? Even unto this, this very day. day. Even in these last days, our people still rebelled. That's right? right. The wars is going on, right? They trying to, they've been trying to check up this race war on the border for quite some time. Now I'm kind of curious how that's going because now they hiding that information, right? Our hell could be breaking loose for all we know, but they hiding it. They got that thing censored, so we can't even check it out no more. I remember about what a month ago I was able to check that thing out. You put check that thing out, ain't nothing coming up. Go ahead and read up. For they, for they are imputed children and stiff-hearted. I do send me unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord God. And they whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Whether they will hear this word or whether they will forbear. It's on you, it's your soul. We on the right side of this thing, man. Right? You believe in God, brother? All right. And here's your belief in the Lord. Hey, all praise to the most high because that's the Lord. Our Lord is not dealing with all nations out here, right. man. Right, right. Hey, our Lord is only dealing for the children of Israel. Right. But these pastors have pushed that nonsense, these lies and deceptions, talk about God love everybody. Right. God is for all people. Right. right? A lot of our people wants to hear that. Why? Because when you listen to God love everybody, it accuses everybody. Our people will hate to hear that we are a special people above all people. We've been down for so long, we just like to be known for being on the bottom. But not us. We got the truth now. That's right. How you doing, brother? You believe in God, King? May the word, brother. Right? Go ahead and um, read that up. Joel, chapter 2, and verse 27. Yeah. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God. Hey, the Lord said he's only in the midst of the children of Israel. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You Cubans, you're a part of that. Right? You Puerto Ricans, you're a part of that. Right? You Native Americans, you are a part of this. Right? Go ahead. And then else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Hey, God said you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans should never be ashamed, you know? Right. But there's a lot of our people that's ashamed of the Lord. Right? Even from the second Timothy, chapter 1 to verse 8. Second Timothy 1 and 8, Hebrew. A lot of our people are ashamed of the Lord. Right? Why? Because majority of the people don't believe in the Lord. So they want to go ahead and work, do what the multitude do. Right? They want to be them sheep that's following other sheep to the slaughterhouse. Right? Go ahead and read that out. So the thing is each other one and verse eight. Yeah. Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. What the Bible say? Be not ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. And the Lord told you that. Be not ashamed of the testimony. And we love the testimonies of the Lord. Right. That's uh, why we read daily. Uh, right. That's why we study. Uh, right. And we make time. True sheep, true servants of the Lord. Gonna always make time for the Lord. That's right. Right? They're not gonna be putting off from day to day. Why? Because they know they in their security they're gonna get destroyed. Right? So they tune in, they get down with the get down and get on the Lord's good side. And those are wise brothers and sisters in the same. 
Read that one more time from the top for me, y'all. Second Timothy chapter one and verse eight. Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the affliction. And when affliction comes, we gotta partake in that thing, man. As the Lord said to love when we go through trials and tribulations. That's right. Right? A lot of brothers can't bear that. Right? When you brothers going through trials, man, they begin to give up. You begin to see brothers' true faith, right, when they go through these trials, man. And these trials that have a brother turn from the right path and go to the left path That's and right. go down that way. That's right. Right? And enjoy the sins and the darkness of this world. Uh -huh. But we not to do that. Right? We got to stay strong in this thing. Isn't that in the book of Galatians chapter 6, verse 2, Hebrew? Galatians chapter 6, and verse 2. And they're trying to hear the word, man. They're trying to hear the word. They're like gold, they're like green. They're trying to speed around you. You know what I mean? All praise to you. How about you have a shot? Right? Galatians 6, verse 2, Hebrew. Right? It's time to come up out of this world, man. Why? Because this world is corrupt. And this world will corrupt your mind. How? By listening to the radio daily. Right? By listening to your television. Right? By listening to people who've been deceived by this beast system. Right. When you talk about people, they don't have the, the, the um, good speech or the knowledge or wisdom of Christ in their mouth. They got the wisdom of this world in their mouth, man. Huh. They're trying to tell you about it. That's why you got brothers that come up to you talking, I'll fit you on. You hurt me. You know what I'm saying? You down bad. I got you. I got this connect. Right? Put you on the evil to keep you in darkness. Right. Get you to walk in darkness, man. Huh. Right? But, but the Lord gave us scriptures. That's he right. gave us the spirit of wisdom. Uh, he got the spirit of wisdom. It's hard to be manipulated out here, man. Uh, you know, you have, you have shot. Go ahead and read that out. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 2. Bring it up. Bear ye one another's burdens. And what did God say? Bear ye one another's burdens. And so, fulfill the law of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So when we're all people down, we don't need no brother of the beast system trying to infiltrate our mind. Hey, brother, come here to work, brother. You be come on, brother. All right, brother. And this place about to be destroyed, man. You got to get on board, man. And you got to get on the ark, brother. Oh. Right? You got to get on the ark out here, man. We don't want people to get on the ark, man. Uh -huh. Hey, we're not warning you that a flood's coming. We're warning you that fire is coming. That's right. Right? right? Go ahead and read, up. Huh? Galatians chapter 6, verse 2. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't one another's burden. And so, fulfill the law of Amashiach. Because that's fulfilling the law of the Lord. When your brother's down, you got to be there for him. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 10, Hebrew. Sorry, verse 9. Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. You got to bear one another's burden because that is the law. When you see your brother falling, you have to help him or tell him about his fault. That's right. You can't just let that brother go off in the midst of his sins when you know that that brother's going off. Right. We cannot be like that. We cannot do that. Otherwise, the angels is writing that down. I mean, I don't know if they're writing it down, but they're remembering that thing. I don't think angels going to be writing anything down to remember Right, they got a solid mind, man. They can remember a lot of things. Go ahead and read. Ecclesiastes to the four and verse nine. You know? Two are better than one. Hey, what did God say? Two, Two are, are better than one. Why is that Hebrew? Because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift them up. Hey, if one brother <laughs> falls, the one will lift up his brother. Right? He can tell his brother what he's doing wrong and when he's going off. Tell him, right. look, man, if you ain't coming out on the highways and hedges, tell him, you got to come back out to the highways and hedges. We know what's going on in this world, man. Huh. Like, come on, man, get on board, man, get your mind right. That's what we're supposed to do. Right. If a brother, you with a brother, right, y'all going out to dinner, right, and the brother's talking, trying to order some pork or, you know, uh -huh. looking at a woman lustful ways, that brother's supposed to be there for his brother, man, right. and pick him up, because obviously he done fell down. Read that one more time straight through from the top of me, y'all. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 9. Bring it out. Two are better than one. They got to say two are better than one, man. They had, because they have a good reward for their labor. Verse 10. For they fall, for, for one, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. Because if one fall, the other will lift up his brother. And that's love right there, man. That's what each and every brother is supposed to be doing if you walking in the truth, man. That's how we get on one accord with brothers. We ain't got to be with the same camp. It's multiple camps, but we all supposed, supposed to be keeping these laws on the same accord, right? If I see another brother outside the camp with his friends is on and I see him going off, I'm going to tell him about himself. Oh. Either you're going to get down with the program or take them things off, man, right? Oh. And the Lord said, man, hey, lukewarm brother's going to be spewed out of his mouth, oh. right? So we, man, ain't no time... 
for this nonsense out here, man. We got to get down with this thing, man, and go hard for the Lord. Give me another That's right. Baruch chapter 4, verse 28, Hebrew. Baruch 4, verse 28. Got to get up, pick yourself up, man. But zip up, get your boots on, man. Strap up, put on that armor, man. Put on your shield. Put on your helmet of salvation. For this faith, the knowledge and wisdom, right? Pick up your sword, which is the Bible. Defend yourself out here, man. Read what you got. Luke chapter 4 and verse 28. Bring it out. For as it was, your mind to go astray from God. So if you fell down, it was your mind to go astray. Go ahead. So be returned. So that you came back. Seek him ten times more. What did he say? Seek, seek him ten times, times more. more. We got to seek him ten times more. Which means what? We got some work to do. That's right. right. Give me the book of, give me the book of, what is that? Sir? Give me the book of South Rock, chapter 4, verse 28. We got some work to do. Right? And all praises to you, how about you, I was shot, but that's when that grace come in, man. Yeah, we all going to fall. We all fall off at different times. But he gives us that grace when the grace period to come point. back. As long as we live in, we got a chance to repent. We got a chance to put this work in. That's why it's every, every Sabbath day, it's an opportunity to do the Father's will, man. Uh, literally, an opportunity. Imagine the brothers that the Lord didn't call, and they, they stopped doing it. Right? They stopped putting the work in for them. Imagine the, the consequences they're going to get. You've been called. you got to come and do your job. Read what you got. Shireh, chapter 4, verse 28. Bring it out. Strive for the truth unto death. Hey, what did God say? Strive for the truth, truth unto death. death. Hey, did God say you got to strive for the truth unto death. Let nothing take you off your stoop, right? In the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 27, Hebrew. 2 Maccabees 2, verse 27. Matter of fact, 2 Maccabees 2, verse 7. Go out there. Right? Don't let no man take that crown. He means that, man. We we sometimes don't think, take these things serious enough. Hey, but when somebody's shooting at you, you take that real serious. Right. Hey, if somebody's shooting at you and you make it out, and you tell your homeboy he laughed at you, you're going to feel some type of way. And you're going to want to beat your homeboy up. Right? That's not a laughing matter. When we come out here and warn our people, that's not a laughing matter. Right. Huh. What you got? So the man be chapter 2. In verse 7. Bring it out. Which? When? Jeremy. Proceed. Hey, Slocky, come in the word, brother. You believe in God? All right, King. All right. That's 2 Maccabees 2, verse 7. 2, verse 7, come. Go ahead. 2 Maccabees chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it out. Which? When? Jeremy. Proceed. No, that's not what I want. Give me um, 7 and 2. 1 2, two Maccabees 7 and 2. First Maccabees 7 and 2. Oh. Nah, 7 seven. Second Maccabees 7 verse 2. Who is there? Second Maccabees chapter 7. Chapter 7 verse 2. So rocking. Right? It's time to hunker down and come back to the Lord, man. We gotta use wisdom in these last days, man. We gotta do what the Lord is telling us to do. We gotta obey these instructions that was given to us. Go ahead and read. Second Maccabees chapter 7 and verse 2. Bring it out. But one of them that spake first said thus. What wouldst thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die. What do you say? We are ready to die. What do you say? We are ready to die. Into what? Rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. Right. Yeah, we got to be ready to die for this truth rather than break God's commandments. That's man. right. Right? You get your back backed up against the wall. Hey, brother, come in the word, brother. Hey, brother, come in the word, brother. brother. Right? Read that one more time, say two for me, y'all. Second Maccabees chapter 7, verse 2. Yep. But one of them that speak first and said thus, What wouldst thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. You know, we gotta be ready to die for this truth, man. If you ain't ready to die for this truth, then you don't believe, you don't belong. Huh. Right. To be coming out and mingling with brothers. That's right. You don't belong to be reading the Bible. Right. Why? Because you ain't gonna make it anyway. Come in the word, brother. You believe in God, King? Come on, brother. You uh, believe in God, brother? Come on, brother. Peace to Almighty God. I come from the school of thought of the nation, God's the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep doing what y'all doing, God. All right, King. I think you're edified by brother before. All right. Um, Are we good? Calm down with him. Calm down. Look at 2nd Edge, chapter 15, verse 24. Hey, this is why we gotta come back to keep these commandments, man. This is why we got to come back to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments, man. Because if you ain't on a path of righteousness, you're on a path of wickedness, man. You're not keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, and righteousness. You're committing sin of the world. Read what you got. 
So the Ash of the 15 and verse 24. Yo! Woe to them that sin. And what did God say? Woe to them that sin. And you're going to be destroyed. Destruction to you that sin. That's why we got to cling to these words. That's why we got to, we can't, we got to be ready to die for this truth. Go ahead. Woe to them that sin and keep not my command. And keep what? And keep, keep not my, my commandments. That's why we're sitting aside here to tell our people to keep the commandments. Because if you don't keep the commandments, you're going to be destroyed. Right. That's why the Lord say, woe to them that sin. We can get from the top of me, y'all. Second Andrew, chapter 15 and verse 24, and it reads, Woe to them that sin and keep not my command, said the Lord. I will not spare them. What did he say? I will, I will not, not spare them. them. The Lord says, you're not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. He's not going to spare you. Right. And hey, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. Uh -huh. Right? With the words that he said, the words that he mean. Go ahead and read. I will not spare them. Go your way. What did he say? Go, Go your way. Ye children, from the power, defile not my sanctuary. God say, don't defile his sanctuary. What is the sanctuary? We are the sanctuary. That's right. Right? Why? How? Because we are the temple of God. That's right. Go ahead and read up. For the Lord loves all them that sin against him. Hey, the Lord know every, everybody that sin against him. Right? The Lord know each and every time we go off. He knows it. Go ahead and read up. And therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. So those who go off, the Lord is going to deliver those to death and destruction. Right. Jump up That's to verse right. 24, right. Hebrews. Verse 24. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. For I will, as I will not spill thee, spill them. The Lord said, I will not spare them. Spare okay. Okay. Go your way. Ye children from the power, be found not my sanctuary. Why? Because we know what the wages of, man. Right. Even in the book of Romans 6.23, why is he telling us this, man? Why is we out here telling our people to come back and repent? Why are we out here telling our people to keep the law, statutes, and commandments? So when you go against the law, that means you, what, command sin. You walk in the sin. You walk in the darkness. And this one, this is the payment of walking in darkness. Read what you got. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. Read it again for me, y'all. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. But the gift of God is eternal life. Bring the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. Right? Hey, the, we got the promises coming to us if we endure. That's why I say those that endure until the end. Not enjoy this world for a time, right? Oh, hey, Moses, what's up, King? Come on. Oh, crazy. Check it out. Come home, King. We deal with you before, all right? Come home, brother. That's right. Then what you got? Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. Bring it out. No man can serve two men. For the God say, no, no man, man can serve two men. I'm in and out of the truth. For either he will hate the one and love the other. Hey, when you in and out of the truth, you serve in two masters. Right. Pent this nonsense away. Right? We must understand these things, man. Stop the madness, man. Uh, the Lord is not playing with us, that's man. That's right. Bring the gift from the top for me, y'all. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and man. He cannot serve God and man. Give him the book of Sarah. Chapter 32 verse 17. Sarah 32 verse 17 Hebrew. You cannot serve God and man. You got to pick one, man. Right. And, and go hard on serving him. Right, how you doing, sister? You believe in God? See that? The Lord ain't dealing with Islam, sister. Mm. All right, we was up under the Arabs. That's the Arab country. That's right. You're an Israelite, nine times out of ten. Do what you got. Sarah, to the 32 in verse 17. Get out. A sinful man. A what? A sinful man. A what? A sinful man. Well, what? Will not be reproved. Hey, a sinful man will not be corrected, man. Go ahead and read. He refused, but findeth an excuse. But he do what? But findeth an excuse. Hey, you got a lot of brothers and a lot of sisters that give an excuse and want you to hear that excuse and give it a pass. Not knowing it's not about us. You ain't got to explain nothing to us. You got to explain it to the Lord. That's right. Fine. Right? 
Hey, a lot of people are going to be going under the Lord to show them mercy in that day, man. Right? You can't be like that. Why is not serve the Lord and go all out for him? Right? So you can be somewhat confident. Because you're still going to be scared even if you pin your brick in. You're still going to be scared when y'all face the Lord, man. The Lord said, every eye shall bow. Every eye shall cry. Hey, give me that in the book of um, Revelation, Hebrew. Chapter 7 and verse 1. Every knee shall bow. Why? Soon as that sky crack, everybody going to remember them sins. Remember the stuff that they did wrong. Right? Remember how lukewarm they was. It's too late. But well, we up under grace now. Every time we still alive, we got a chance to repent. How you doing, sis? You believe in God? Come on, sister. Come here to word, sister. Word, sister. Two minutes. Come here to word, sister. Do what you got. Revelation chapter 7 verse 1. Bring it out. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. That's Revelation 1 7. Sure. 7 1. Oh, it's locked Revelation 1 verse 7. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Does the Lord come with? He cometh with clouds. He said it all throughout the Bible. You can read that in the book of Isaiah 66 verse 15, but go ahead and read and every eye shall see him. Every what? Every, every eye shall see him. And when the Lord come back, man, hey, every eye going to see him the same way you, our people going to see these solar eclipses, right. right? You're going to see him coming, right? And everybody, on, and no matter what country they are in, they're going to know, damn, they're going to examine themselves then. God. And then the Lord tell us to examine ourselves daily. Our people going to examine themselves when they see the Lord, man, <laughs> and know where they're going. Right. And you know, a lot of people going to try to plead with the Lord. Like they're going to get over on the Lord, ah. right? They're going to get the Lord to see their point of view, right? They're going to say, oh, have mercy on me, oh, Lord. They're going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, right? Right? When those words come out, man, that's, I, I think your heart going to drop, right? Your heart going to drop instantly. Because now you're going to be looking for that heat, right? right. right. You're going to read up for the top of you. Revelation to 1 verse 7. Bring it up. Lord, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him, and they, and they also which pierced him, and lucky, all. Lucky. How you doing, sister? How you doing, sister? You Come on, sister. Tell me the word, sister. Let me read the scripture to you. Let me read one scripture to you, sister. Let me get from the top of you all Revelation to the one verse seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they shall also, they also which pierced him. The Lord is coming back. Every eye shall see him, right. even those who pierced him. Uh. We all know that the, it was the Romans that did it. Right, right. Letting us know that the same people back then that walked the earth is walking the earth uh. now. That's he right. And when the Lord come back, he's going to open your mind up, and you're going to remember what you was doing. Right. All the people that was scoffing, rooting for him to get pierced, put to death, uh. they all go, it's going to all show up in their mind, they're going to see exactly what they did. Right? And guess what? Their heart gonna drop. Right. Um. Right? It don't be the same people that say I believe in God. Right? Go to read up. And all kindreds of the earth shall well. They shall well. Go ahead. Because of him, even so are men. See that? A lot of our people going well. Right? They going well. Um. Hey. A lot of the church people gonna have confidence in that thing. <laughs> they gonna think they gonna win him. Uh -oh. They gonna have so much uh -oh. I'm telling you, man. These people that's up in these that the Lord got these strong delusions on. Hey, give me that in the book of Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse ten, Hebrew. Let's talk about these Christians. Let's talk about our people that serve in Islam, right? right? What do you think our people gonna yell Allah in that day? When the Lord cracked out sky and they see his face, you think they're going to say Allah? I hate to say it, but a lot of them uh, will. They, cause they think Allah is who's coming back. Right? Allah. Allah stuck somewhere over there inside that rock. You know what I'm saying? He's not coming out because it's fake. Ain't no spirit in that. Right. Read what you got. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 10. Bring it out. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish, and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth. Because they receive not the love of the truth. We all know all these different denominations that's going around. It's too many. Somebody's lying. Come to the word, brother. Come on, brother. Right? Somebody's lying. All these different religions, and they all claiming that they got the number one truth. Right? But then when you do the background on them, right? When you actually look at them, 
see all these, they going to ask me, go against the scriptures. But the Lord said because they didn't come up out of those churches, out of these different denominations. Why? Because they didn't believe the truth. Right. Because the truth, it cut, directions come with it. You got to keep these laws, that's commandments. You literally have to change. Our people don't want to change right. like that, right. man. Right. It's a hard thing for our people to come up out of bands, man. That's something hard to our people. It's simple because the Lord made it simple. But because our people are so rebellious, it's hard for our women to come up out of pants. The same way it's hard for our brothers to stop smoking weed. Right? Wow. Go ahead and read. So, but that's all in chapter 2 and verse 10. Bring it out. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them, the parents, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for the cause... And for this cause... This cause... God shall send them strong delusion. The Lord shall send them a strong delusion, man. They're under that strong delusion. That's why they believe what they serve and cold heartedly, even though they see the errors in it. Right? Even in the book of Isaiah chapter 66, verse 4. All people see that when you go into church, they teach that Christ is a Caucasian man. Right. They'll read it in the Bible, brown skin, hair and wool. But they'll still serve the Caucasian man. That's why he called it a strong delusion. A delusion is something to come about of. A delusion is something that you're going to believe. That's manipulation for real. Right? You think that's exactly what it said, man. Right? That's why a lot of these, people, these witches be putting spells on people, man. That's right. Right? And it's a delusion with a, a female put a lot of makeup on. Right? Uh. And then you holler at her. You wake up, it's right. all stripped off. That's a whole nother person. Right, right. That's a no. delusion. <laughs> you believed it was the what you saw the first time. That's witchcraft. Go ahead and read up. Huh? Isaiah chapter 66 verse 4. I also will choose the delusion. the Lord say? I, I also, also will choose the delusion. It's the Lord that chooses all people's delusion, man. He, he chose you to be into Islam. He chose you. To serve Christianity. Yes. Hey, he told you to serve Buddha. Bow down to it. Bow down to the rock and mecca. Right? Bow down to Krishna. Right? Bow down to all these different gods. It's the Lord that told you to have you do that, man. Pretty one more time for the talk for me, y'all. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 4. I also will choose the delusions. Go ahead. And will bring their fears upon them. They bring their fears upon them. When? At the last trump. When they see the Lord. Right. Their fear is going to come upon them, right? right. Oh, what I was studying, well, I found out that this really ain't the way. Right? Go ahead. Because when they, when I called, none did answer. Because when the Lord called and showed you the proof out of the Bible, you still wanted to do what you was doing. Stand in wickedness, stand in darkness, not take a heed to what the scripture says. That's why the Lord tells us we ought to obey God rather than men. That's if right. the scripture say, you got to go with that. Right, right. You can't go with a man say. A man say, believe this. How you doing, King? I'm good, brother. All you got praise. any questions? Okay, all praises. Have you ever heard your Israelite? I have. Okay. On your father's side, what race would your father be or your dad be, King? Black. <laughs> Black. Okay, that would make you from the tribe of Judah. Because the Judites went into slavery, is that correct? I have no idea, but I'm listening. Okay, well, I'm from the tribe of Judah as well. Okay. We went into, the Lord said he was going to take the children of Israel into captivity because we broke his law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. You see that? So that's why we're on the bottom of the side. That's why we struggle as a race of people. Calm. That's why we're the only one that's rapping about shooting our own people, girls bouncing their behind. Right, having the body count out of this world, not marrying, you see what I'm saying? Lying and deceiving people. That's why, because we are under curses. Did you know that? A little bit. Okay, well, let's read it for you in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Let's we'll start at verse 1, Hebrew. Let's show you some things of what the Bible actually says, brother. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe, to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Now the, now the Lord gave us an ultimatum. He said if we would listen and keep my law, statutes, and commandments, 
I will what? Set thee on high above all nations. He will set us on high above all nations, meaning we will be the ruling class, King. Right. It's the flip side to that. So how about we read in the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 15? Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and statutes, which I command thee to say, that the Lord thy God is rocking, that all these curses are rocking. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass, and it shall happen. If thou wilt not hearken, if we will not listen, unto the voice of the Lord thy God, unto the voice of the Lord thy God, how can we listen? By keeping his laws, thus and commandments, go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments and statutes, which I command this day. Which he command us to do this day. Now all these curses. All these what? Now all these curses. Now all these curses shall what? Shall come up on thee and overtake thee. Now all these, if we, now that's the ultimatum. If we will listen and keep God's laws, God's commandments, we'll be on high above all nations. But if we will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, we shall be cursed. That's right. Right. Right? You know what I want? The book of Daniel. Come. Chapter 10, verse 9, I believe. Now let's find out, did we listen or did we not listen? Because this is Moses when we came out of, Mount, out of um, Egypt, right? Moses came down from Mount Sinai and gave us that ultimatum, right? And he about to let us know in the book of Daniel, did we listen or did we not listen? So go ahead and read. Daniel chapter 9 verse 11. Yeah, yeah all Israel had transgressed the law thy law. God said, all Israel has transgressed thy law. All 12 tribes, we wanted one tribe, it was all 12 tribes. Right. You from the tribe of Judah. And we're right. going to touch on it and explain it and show you that it's all in the Bible, bro. This whole time when we was being lied to by these pastors. Teacher. Not telling us the truth. That's right. right. Go ahead and read from the top straight through for me. Daniel yeah, chapter 9 verse 11. Then all Israel had transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. The what? The curse is poured upon us. So we, uh, when it came to the ultimatum, we did not listen. So the Lord said, Daniel said, therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Right? Go to give me the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 45, Hebrew. Now, let's let's get this thing rolling. Let's get some understanding. Right? right? Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. I got the yeah. question in a second, King. Go ahead. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Now these curses are going to come upon us, overtake us until we be destroyed. You, you ain't no use from the tribe of Judah. Not at all. You see that? That's the, when you destroy when you don't know your name, your biblical right. name, the name that God gave us. Right, huh. right. We destroy when we don't know our heritage, our customs. Right? God did this to us. Not the other nations. We were too powerful for them to try to That's us right. down. He weakened our spirit and gave them the power to overtake us for a punishment. We're in the punishment. That's why the Lord is coming back to take us out of the punishment. That's right. right. You see that? But those 